Okay, man, look here. I had an interesting situation. A, a guy that has a huge YouTube channel, huge following on YouTube. I was listening to one of his videos and he he said something that I disagree with, right? Which is not unusual with these cats. And I left a comment from my personal account, my brother Kush account. I didn't do it from this account because I don't I don't I'm not trying to poach his 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 subscribers, you know, nothing like that, right? I was just being a listener and I commented as a listener. Well, he comes on my page doing a little CSI because of the way I responded to him, which I'm going to get to that in a second. The way that I responded to him kind of told him something about the dude that he was dealing with. So he came on my channel to look and see what he could see, and he found the Black Alpha channel. He see I did a video with his face on the cover, and he left a comment on it. But before then, he challenged me to a debate. And I want to talk a little bit about why I would never debate dudes like Taz right here on the Black Alpha. Let's roll. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Okay. Behind me is the actual con comment I left on his page. He did this video talking about the sex work over in Amsterdam, right? He thought it, he was talking about, I thought it was all about just smoking weed. I didn't know they was doing this over there, right? Now, what it is on certain strips, right? They got a strip. When you're walking down the street, they got the women up in windows, <laughs> literally up in windows, walking around in lingerie and stuff. So when you walking down the street, you can see all the women in all these windows just standing there half naked, right? And that's supposed to lure the men in there, you know what I'm saying, to, 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 to play with the women, right? So he goes on and on about how, you know, this is exploitation of the women and all this and stuff. And I'm like, huh? And you got people in this comment section telling them, no, bro, that's actually legal over there. It's like Nevada. That's that's a job over there for these women, you know what I'm saying? But he talked about exploitation, and then he mentioned the Me Too movement. I'm like, Me Too? So I had to lead a comment. I said, this dude basically attempted to justify and validate the Me Too movement. Wow. So he comes back, as you can see, talking about there has never been a person who has who was willing to debate it. I stand by it and keep an open smoke session if you bold enough. See, when dudes talk about fear like this, it's offensive to me, bro. I'm sitting here with bullet holes, knife wounds. I've been busting the brains, you know what I'm saying? Look, bro, I have been in all kinds of violence. Every type of violence you can name, I've been in it. And I've gone back for seconds and thirds. I have never been afraid of anything. I have never been afraid to fight. I have never been afraid to, to do whatever I had to do. You know what I'm saying? So when people use words like bold and fear in regards to talking to some stranger on the internet, it irks me, man. Because it tells me that you don't understand what you're looking at. You're looking at a certified G here, bro. You talking to me like I'm some little boy. This is not about fear. So I responded. I said, my brother, one does not need to be bold to talk. But some things are not worth debating. How Me Too is used is self-evident. If you can't see that it's nothing more than another feminist weapon against men, then I'm cool with it. But I'm way too old to debate the obvious. And that is the comment that made him come to my page to have to see who is this dude. So let me explain the problem that, that men like Taz have. He has a clear bias when it comes to women. For him, everything is a violation against women. He don't seem to understand that the only person violating the women, the only person exploiting the women is this way that we live in our modern times. 
when you need money to pay for things that nature gives you for free it creates an a, 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 an air of desperation and once you have an air of desperation around you a person will do whatever they feel they need to do to make it this is why ja Rule did that song him and him, him and she she did something like this some some of the west coast rapper right you know what i'm saying did that song it's your world if you're hustling and sticking them it's all right women if you're if you're ucking and stripping it's all right we all gotta eat so just live your life real song by jaru real song see street dudes understand that but a dude like taz that has the look of a street dude he got the sound because he he blows he blow he cheats all day you know what i'm saying his his vocals are all messed up because of because of all the herbs he smoked i'm assuming that's what it, of course i don't know the cat he might not nah, he smoked because you see it in his lips but anyway you know this dude he got the look and the body language and everything of a street dude but he don't have the understanding of a street dude everything is not exploitation except the system itself we are all victims of the system bro do you think I wanted to go out there and collect bullet holes in my body? Do you think I wanted to be locked up in cages, man? This is why I get so mad at you, you, you self-righteous dudes on all these other channels. Every time somebody go to jail, oh, lock him up, throw away the key. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he needs to go get a job. It's not that easy out here, man. Y'all are hypocrites. You ever wonder why you have an unemployment rate? Do you think that those people those millions of people they just don't want jobs do you think those tens of millions that have advanced degrees but working they underemployed do you think they went to school all those years so they can wait tables and barely make it so they can have a roommate in an apartment do you think they went to the, we are all being exploited by the system but you won't get dudes like Taz to see that because he's too focused on putting on this cape for women, black women in particular. See, in Amsterdam, he couldn't talk about the black women, so he just he just showed that his problem is is he has a bias in favor of women. That that's what it is. That's what it is. If it's about women and men, he's gonna side with the women every time. And again, I said this in my in my in my, my community post. I have no problem with anybody being uh women first i'm just not that you know what i'm saying i'm not that because i know what the black man is worth i know how important we are i know why the world hate us i know why they do everything they can to hold us down dudes like taz don't understand we are the ones that gotta rise up and, and deal with this thing not our women we are the ones that got to stand up and make the changes not our women we are the ones that got to usher in a new era not the women the women only help us after we get it started they are not our leaders we are the leaders and as soon as we stand up and start being what we are supposed to be we're going to make real changes these things should not be yes i agree we should not need to have women in windows on display like 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 some kind of consumable goods i agree but there's a reason why they call that profession the oldest profession in the world because women have always used their god-given looks and bodies to get ahead in this world it's always been their first hustle it's always been their default hustle we're the ones that don't have a default hustle they have a default hustle I remember back in like 87, 86, a chick told me, as long as I got a coochie, I ain't gonna never be broke. Real talk, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I just laughed at it, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I hear you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, don't know if it's true, you know what I'm saying? But I hear you and I, I understand the sentiment because what she was saying is I look good. I got, I got what men want. I got the looks, I got the sex. I got everything that men want. So if I play my cards right, I'll be okay through life. But the truth is, women don't play their cards like that. And everybody don't want to be 
workers or never everybody won't be the property of nobody so you know i'm with the women on all that but this dude thinking that everything is exploitation of women while we all get up and got to go to work in the morning working 10 12 13 14 16 hours a day just so that we can buy things that the earth gives us for free we're the only creatures on this planet that have a cost to live that have a price to live we're the only creatures on this planet that have to pay somebody so we can have a shelter that it is illegal to live off grid almost not quite but it's not far from it this is the exploitation that we are really under what women are going through or what women are doing is using their natural default hustle and instead of criticizing them or always trying to make them the victims of men how about looking at all of us as the victims of a system that's gone bad they don't have enough room to employ us all they don't have enough room to take care of us all plus keeping and maintaining an, a, a, an unemployment rate it always maintains desperation in the people that has jobs people with jobs don't want to lose their jobs because they need their jobs See, when you got a surplus of jobs, people walk off jobs and say, uh, you know, I'm going to go chill for a month. I'm going to come back and work when I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm gone. Or I'm going to quit this, chill out till I find something else I like. You know what I'm saying? I can negotiate my pay. There was a time when you really negotiated your pay. You can't negotiate pay like that no more. Yeah, I know they still allow certain corporate dudes to do that stuff, man. But that's all oh, that's a smoke screen. These are all zombie companies. They don't really do anything. You know what I'm saying? They are paid for by the government just to maintain the, the, the balance between the unemployed and the employed. That's all it is. That's what zombie companies do. They help maintain the ratio. But they got to make, they got to keep a certain number of us, a certain percentage of us unemployed so that the desperation is always there. It's always there. The classism is always there. You always get brothers talking about, oh, you need to go just work harder. Go get another job. You, you, you can do it. I did it. You know, you always got these class wars. Instead of everybody looking and saying, say, bro, I don't want to work like this. I don't want to spend my whole life running around in circles, man, to buy things that the earth give me for free. I don't want to do this no more. No, we don't do that. We're not going to do that. Instead, we, we criticize the ones that don't want to work. We call them lazy. Or the people that want to live, just live, you know, barely get by, just, just make enough to survive off and they content. We call them lazy. They have no ambition. It's not that. You, at some point, you got to want to do something else other than chase your tail all the time. Because that's all you're doing in this system. Let me tell Taz how it was when I was coming up. You know what I'm saying? Just in the 80s, right? Let, let's go to the early 80s. You could catch the bus. Go uptown, watch a movie, catch the bus first, catch a movie, go down to the Pennyland game room, play games for two, three hours, stop over at Popeye, get you a 99 cent combo, and then walk up and down Bourbon Street a little bit, and then hop back on the bus and go back home all for five dollars. And you can make the five dollars yourself doing any odd hustle anywhere in the hood cutting grass when we were small when we was kids we used to pick up cans and bottles and bring them back to the station back there by the bridge and they used to weigh it up and pay you man we used to make on, on a saturday just uh, well we used to pick up cans say that like we go we pick up cans like early saturday right and by saturday afternoon we finished we go cash in by saturday evening we we didn't make 15 20 dollars and we and we 10 years old we, we 10 11 years old that was a lot of money for a 10 11 year old you know what i'm saying i mean you didn't need a lot of money back then every i mean you could get so much with the dollar back then i mean we was rich <laughs> you know what i'm saying off our little hustles when i got a little older i used to cut grass we go out and we hit we hit three four yards ten dollars a piece you know what i'm saying we split it 20 a piece we got 20 bucks in our pocket for one day's work man 20 bucks see today you say that you like 20 bucks but 20 bucks back then it's like 80 90 bucks right now yeah so i mean you don't understand exploitation taz man because you're looking at it you because you 
you're too tethered and tied emotionally to women. I'm not going to guess why. I'm going to leave that alone. But you're too tied to women to understand that the exploitation goes be above and beyond just women. We are all being exploited in this society. We are all victims of this system. The way we live, we should not live, period. Now, let me switch speed and explain why I won't debate dudes like Taz. You got to understand, you know, I, I, I did a thumbnail, him, me versus him. I had to put me first because you put the champ first, right, versus the other guy, right? But truth of the matter is, he's he's a juggernaut on YouTube compared to me. My channel is small. It, it's growing real slow. You know what I'm saying? But it's growing. But I understand it's going to grow slow because I'm spitting, I'm, I'm talking truth. The truth is just not as easily digestible as the other stuff. And it's not as entertaining. The, the fact of the matter is we don't like it. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, it's growing slow. It's moving slow and everything, right? So he's a juggernaut on YouTube compared to me on YouTube. But in real life, he's nowhere near me. I listen to the cat. His understanding of life is limited. He's only right based on the context or the topic of, of, of what he's talking about. Like, for instance, talk about these red pill dudes and, and, and this petty type, petty, like, like, like uh, um, messing with children type of, of inclinations that they have in, in wanting these little girls, right? These, these young girls. I agree with him on that. But only in so much as I use it more as a metaphor. Because they're not really after little girls. They just want real young ladies. They want the youngest legal lady that they can get. You know what I'm saying? And that is to me creepy. That is to me weird. So I feel him on that. But when he go to using these words like these are children, that's a problem. Because he's helping create an environment of victimization against the men. Because those young ladies are not children and if he can't understand it then he has a problem if he can't see how the me too movement is used to destroy the lives of men he has a problem i'm not talking about people like harvey weinstein who did all this crazy stuff to these women i'm talking about cases really you know and i don't want to go to bad for him but i'm talking about cases like bill cosby and again i ain't going to bad for him you know what i'm saying but i'm saying how you come back 30, 40 years later, and I have a man locked up for something. In what rational world is that even, does that even make sense? In what logical world does does these uh, sex shield laws, you know what I'm talking about, these, these shield laws that protect women, that make allegations against men, that protect them from scrutiny, in what world is that right? In what world can a so-called statutory minor because that's what they are not a little girl we talk about a statutory minor in what world can a statutory minor who who for all intents purposes has a mind right they understand what's going on they are not children i'm talking about somebody 14 to, to, to 17 right in what world can they hurl an a allegation towards a man have him locked up in the being and everything and in court you can't even cross examine this chick you can't even ask her a question about nothing she is saying because she is a statutory minor. So you are just sitting there at the mercy of the word of this chick who you call a little girl. If she's such a little girl, we should not take her word for nothing. If she's a little girl, we should be cognizant of that and, and understand that little children don't have the brains, don't have the intelligence to understand the, the consequences behind the things that they do. We should not be locking up grown men on the words of little girls if you want to see them as little girls. But I don't see them as little girls. They know what they're doing and they're ruining people's lives and you can't even defend yourself against these charges. These are all things that victimize men. These are all things that victimize men. But you get a dude like him and he sees, it's, it's like the sixth sense about, I see ghosts everywhere type thing, you know. He sees female exploitation around every corner that he looks, but it's not even like that. 
So why would I go on a platform like that and debate him? Plus, I've heard him how he debate other people. I've heard him talk to other dudes. He's rude. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the language he used. I ain't got time for that little boy stuff, bro. I ain't got time for all that, man. I'm, I'm not about to be insulting you, and I don't want you insulting me. I ain't got time for all that, bro. If we can't chop it up like real men, I ain't trying to talk to you, bro. And I heard how you talk to dudes, man. You know what I'm saying? Now I get them dudes, you know, uh, you know, them little red pill type dudes. I get, you know, I'm with you on that, bro, to be honest, you know what I'm saying? But I still wouldn't talk to them like that. I wouldn't, I, I would just wouldn't. Look, I'm from a, I'm from an environment where you just got to watch how you talk to men. Unless you trying to bring out them hammers and, 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 and start getting some gangster stuff, you watch how you talk to men. See, y'all think that gangsters are flip at the mouth and all this stuff. No, they not. Because the world they come from, they can't be. Gangsters learn how to be respectful at a very early stage of, of their street life. Because you find yourself always in fights. You find yourself in bang outs. You find yourself in confrontations. You know, so either you want this until you get murked. Or you start learning that you just can't talk to everybody all greasy and stuff. And I've heard enough of these dudes to know that's why they not. I mean, let me say, let me clear my words up. I've listened to enough of these dudes to know that they are not street dudes. They're not. Because they're too reckless out their mouth. Jason Black, way too reckless out of his mouth. You know, and Taz, you know, he's reckless out of his mouth. You know what I'm saying? He he calls it keeping it real, man. But I ain't look, I, I'm I'm not trying to get into all that, bro. I ain't trying to be I, I ain't trying to do the battle of insults, man. Look, I'm Look, bro, I, 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 I got too many balls and stars on my shoulder, man, for all that kind of stuff, bro. You know, this is certified here, bro. I ain't got to be doing all that, bro. That's not how I get down, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to insult you. You don't even insult me. And that's why, really, for all you dudes that get in your feelings behind everything I say, that's on you, bro, because I am the only one trying to tell y'all to just pursue your own way. I'm on your side, but you can't hear it because what you want me to do is sit here and bash women all day. So you talking about I'm caping for women. And then on the other side, the women think I'm just caping for men. Or that I'm some kind of sellout because my wife from Germany. You know what I'm saying? Y'all all crazy, man. And I, I'm not debating that, bro. I, I'm, I'm not getting on y'all platform to talk like that, man. If When y'all come on here, and I'm going to allow people to come on. I'm going to allow you to say your piece. But if you can't come on here and talk like an, like an adult, I'm going to click you off. I'm going to hang you up, man, from, 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 from the control center. I'm going to hang you up, bro, or sister, because I don't need that, man. It's time for us to elevate ourselves, man. Come on, man. Y'all can't let no pookie be, be higher intellectually than all y'all. Y'all are smart ones, right? I'm nothing but a common thug. Y'all got to outdo me. Y'all should want to raise your level at the sight of me. Listen to me the way I explain things. This should make you want to raise your level above me. Because there's no way you should let me be an intellectual superior. You can be my intellectual superior. Raise your level. Up your game. You know what I'm saying? Stop being so biased about everything. Stop looking at everything from a point of view of, of, of where your emotions are tied. And learn to look at everything fresh and open. Just look at it. Put yourself in the other foot, in the other shoe. Ask yourself, how would you feel if you was in that situation, somebody was mocking you? Ask yourself, what would it take for you to even be in that situation? What would cause you to fall that low? I mean, that's not a mystery. If anybody living in modern times, we can see that all is a paycheck away from being homeless. What hustle do you have to fall back on? Do you, I mean, this is why I'm trying to teach people that you don't ask people what they do for a living. Because most people don't do things they're proud of. It's none of your business how people pay their bills. See, this is not the, the mindset of a dude that's judging y'all. Like the rest of these cats sit online and cast judgment all day on, on how other people do life. I don't do that. I support you in however you, you, you take your journey. However you, 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 however you go about your journey through life, I got your back. If you want to ask me something, and uh, I'm not going to say an opinion because I don't like giving opinions. But if you want to ask me what I know about a certain path or direction or trajectory or anything, I'll get that to you. 
but I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. And I'm not going to tell you that you're doing something wrong because you don't live like me. That's these other cats. So that's why I would never go on a channel like that and debate with a dude like that because he's too tied to black women, bro. He's too tied to females. He he can't think rational, man, because he 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 he's he's, he's too he's too un, you know he's still sucking on the breast milk of these women, man. You know what I'm saying? That's not an insult. I'm just it's a metaphor, you know. But he's still on the breast milk of these women, man. You can't talk to no dude like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't even try. You know what I'm saying? Just just real talk. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even try because it won't work. But anyway, man, I'm going to leave it at that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all understand the point I was I was trying to make here. You know, it, it, it's weird because everything is exploitation except for exploitation itself when it comes to people like him. All the wrongs we got going on in our society and he worrying about some stuff going on in Amsterdam. <laughs> With all the stuff going on right here in America that's just totally messed up. And I ain't talking about just messed up for women. I'm talking about messed up for all of us. We are human beings living in the worst way possible. And we can't get nobody to talk about it because all of our so-called spokespeople, they just want a seat at the table of, at the table of the wicked council of the devils. They want a seat at the table. But see, I'm different. I don't want a seat at the table. I want out. I'm like Moses. I want these devils to let my people go. And if you feel you're not one of my people, I'm cool with that too. Because that's just how I roll. On that note, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. Salam.